Okay, so I'm mad. I'm irritated. I'm just, I'm, I want to go home. This is ridiculous. I had, I was getting loaded. I came here at 11 o'clock this morning to get loaded. I went in there to get loaded and the guys decided that they wanted to go take a break. But it's Friday, so they're having a banquet. So they go in and take a two-hour break. And when I got here at 11 o'clock, I only had like three hours on my clock. Now, it was my understanding that the shipper has two hours to load you. So that would be two hours to load and still I have an hour to get to a truck stop. I didn't have enough time. I ran out of hours on the dock. I called my dispatcher after an hour and a half. I said, look, I got like an hour and 30 minutes left on my clock. I can't do this load. She was like, oh, no, um, I'm going to call them and tell them to put a rush on it. Um, just stay there and give me a call back when you got like 40 minutes on your clock. So I was like, okay, cool, whatever. I called her back. I had 40 minutes on my clock. She said, are they loading you? I said, yeah, but the guy said that he's going to take an hour to load me. So if he takes an hour to load me and I only got 40 minutes on my clock, I'm going to run out of the time at the door. This, I cannot do this load. She was like, well, just do the load and then go park on the street. I said, I'm not the type of driver who parks on the street. I, you know, I don't do that. Uh, it's not safe out here for me to be. I'm in Kentucky. This is like KKK Central. And I'm out here in the middle of nowhere and you want me to park on the street? So she was like, no, all the drivers do it, you'll do it. So I was like, okay, fine, you're not listening to me, I'm not gonna listen to you, I called her boss. He was like, no, she's right. That area in Kentucky is safer than being at a truck stop. I said, who determines who's, what's safe? Who determines whether or not I'm in a safe place? He said, no, you're just overreacting, it's all in your mind, you just think you're unsafe, but you're safe really so i was like okay fuck it y'all not listening to me i'm not i'm not trying to hear this you need to i was mad irritated so i called safety safety didn't answer i left a message i called hella numbers nobody at this company wanted to answer or address this issue so about an hour in i called back and i talked to my division manager like supposed to be over my dispatchers my dispatcher supervisor whatever i was like look I can't do this. I got to go home. You need to route me home so I can take my stuff out this truck. I quit. He said, oh, well, it's going to take a minute to get you home, but you still got to complete that load. I was like, I have no problem completing this load, but I quit because I'm not the type of driver to be just parking anywhere. Um, he was like, well, if you didn't trip plan accordingly, what? Excuse me? These shippers are supposed to load you within two hours. I told y'all I only had a couple hours when I came up in here. It's not my fault that they took over the two hours to load me. But whatever, I'm not going to argue with you, man. I said I quit. I quit. So you need to get me home. Uh, you know, if you want me to, I can just take my stuff out of this truck right now and get my own stuff home. He said, oh, if you leave the truck, then that's abandoning the truck and you'll never get another job. I was like, well, what do you want to do? You know, he said, oh, we can tell you, but it's $1,000. Man, I only make $1,500 a week. So if you're taking $1,000 on my check, that means I'm running for you for free? Like, really? No, that's not an option. Uh, so I said, can I do PC? Oh, we don't do PC. But I'm leaving the shipper. The PC is the whole purpose of PC is for you to have opportunity to get to a safe place if the shipper takes too long in this situation. Oh, this company doesn't do PC. I'm sorry. Oh, really? You don't do PC? So I was like, look, I quit. I'm through. I'm done. I'm not going to tolerate this. You know, obviously not looking at it from my point of view, where you want me to sleep on a two-lane road in Kentucky, then I, I'm not having it. So I moved the truck down to a hotel and, um, they don't allow truck parking, but I went in there and I talked to the manager and I was like, look, I, they got me out here. I don't feel safe. You know, I told my company and they was like, well, if anything happened, call 911. Yeah. What's the point of calling 911 after it happened when I'm trying to prevent it from happening? But the manager lady was all okay. She was like, oh no, it's cool. How long you gonna be there? I was like, well, 
my clock is up about 10 o'clock and I'm so tired. Like I've been up since midnight and I'm still trying to deal with this. Um, but I was able to roll down the hill very slowly so my clock wouldn't start and I wouldn't be an hour of service violation um, to get to this hotel. So I parked in the hotel parking lot, but I'm through. I'm done. Like, you gonna tell me where I'm supposed to park and what's safe for me? No, I quit. <laughs>